Coming up on this episode of the Spiro podcast, when the market is down, when inventory is down, you don't want to just have a product or service that is listing dependent. You want to uh, broaden things up in, in the value that you add to the realtors that you serve. You are part of their marketing team. You are not just a, a listing photographer. You're not just a listing videographer. You are a marketing consultant. Welcome to the Spiro Podcast, managing your real estate photography and videography business with your hosts, Todd Kivimaki and Craig Magwell. Hello and welcome to the Spiro Podcast, managing your real estate photography and videography business. Spiro is a software platform designed to help you manage and grow and scale your real estate media and marketing business. I'm Craig Bagram, host of the podcast, and uh, along with me, as always, our owner, our founder, and co-host of the Spiro Podcast, Todd Kivimaki. How's it going, Todd? Craig, it's going great today. We're excited to be here. Uh, we have a good friend of mine and ours on the podcast. Um, so thank you all for joining in. And uh, it's, it's always great to hear from you guys. Uh, if you have a topic or if you have something you'd like us to talk about, let us know. If we don't know anything about it, we'll go and find someone. You can email me, hello at Spiro.media. And mm -hmm. uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your questions are. Uh, if you have emailed me, thank you so much for doing so. If you're curious as to what Spiro is, it's the software platform that runs our real estate media business. Uh, it's Wow Video Tours. We operate out of Ohio and the, some of the surrounding states and then Charlotte, North Carolina. We shoot about 12,000 jobs a year, and this software manages us from beginning to end. So if you want to find out more, you can visit Spiro.media. You can submit to do a demo with myself. Or you can sign up for free. You can take a look around and try the software out for yourself. I know many of you might be looking for software right now or thinking about software. You know, there's been a lot of news lately about the aerial acquisition and how your data is now belonging to Zillow. And Zillow is calling your clients if you're an aero user or going to call your clients uh, and try to sell them real estate photos, uh, <laughs> thus effectively kind of putting you out of business. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen and you just build relationships with your clients. But if you're looking for a secure platform and a safe place to be, we would love an opportunity to show you what we can do different. I'm, I'm talking to so many people and it's great. They're saying, like, where have you been? Why didn't I know about you? <laughs> and because your system can do so much, like it's doing things that we didn't even think about and they're important to us. And that's effectively so. We, we've kept it that way. We've kept it for almost 19 years to ourselves. And we grew our business like crazy. And we got to the point that we knew that we had a platform that could really help others. And we are to a point that we, we want to do so. And we're letting people use it now. So that's uh, what our mission is to help you succeed, to simplify. Uh, Spiro means take a breath. And that's what we hope to do for you. So if you want to find out more, Spiro.media. There you go. All right. Hey, coming up uh, in just a couple of months, Todd, a, uh, a pretty big event that we got to be a part of and, and attend last year. It's the PMRE conference. Yes, it is. It's a great conference out in Las Vegas. This is the second week in, in November. And uh, so we're going to be there. I'm going to be there this, this year. And uh, our guest, Nick, is going to be there with me. And it's an exciting time where you can come and learn and you can meet people in the in industry, make connections and have a good time in uh, Las Vegas. If you'd like to find out more about the conference, you can visit PMREconference.com. If you want to book a ticket, email me for a discount code. I will send you a code that you can save $50 off your ticket. Also, just want to make you guys aware uh, that uh, there is another conference and it's the week before. Uh, it's the rep conference, R-E-P-P. -P. So you can go rep, R-E-P-P team.com. Uh, many of you guys know uh, this individual, Eli Jones. Um, he has done a ton for the real estate community with training and coaching and building um, structures and things like that. So his conference is the week before. Honestly, I think I'm gonna book my ticket as well to that one. And uh, there's a lot of value in both of these conferences. Quite honestly, like just book them both and then stay overnight or stay a few more extra days. I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, but, you know, this is just a great a, a great time that, 
you can connect with other individuals like you out there. Check them both out and uh, and and make a decision that's best for yourself. And if you stay the whole week, let me know. I'm going to be staying too. I got to find something to do. So and I don't gamble. So we can go do something. <laughs> go to the Hoover Dam. Hey, that's a that's a really interesting place to visit. Yeah, a, a based on your suggestion, I know that's why. I s- yeah, a true engineering marvel. Do I comment in here at all, or am I? I'm just kind of like enjoying the show, but uh, <laughs> I was there too, so yeah, it's a, it's it's a neat week. It's a neat week for um, idea cross pollination. You meet a lot of industry professionals that that are uh, you know working photogs and, vi- and videographers, and then also people that are um, the innovation that they're putting together that just tackles niches niches within you know the industry is pretty cool and it's just conversations you have at lunch or on a break or walking around or you know at the bar it's vegas so um i i just i found it pretty fascinating it was like kind of like a crossroads of the world for real estate photographers and videographers absolutely absolutely and that voice if you're listening and that face if you're watching is our guest this week nick kellis and uh, todd i'm gonna let you introduce nick and and we're gonna dive into this week's topic a little bit of a different topic for us as we normally focus on the business side of real estate media but uh, todd go ahead yeah thanks craig so nick is an individual that's a great friend of mine for over a decade now and he has done some amazing things in his career I'm going to let him give a brief introduction, um, but if you want to talk about an individual that was working at the highest level producing on set, on movies, on TV shows, uh, it doesn't, you don't get anybody better than Nick Kellis. Uh, luckily for us here at WOW, he has moved back. He's originally from around this area, worked in LA for about 30 years, and he's moved back now, and he uh, you know, helps us at WOW with some things and coordinates some things. He's building his own business and doing some exciting things. And he is a true master of producing content. And this is going to tie into the business of real estate photography because listings are down. Everybody knows that. It's the same everywhere. And your realtors are looking for a way that they can market themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not going to market themselves in a listing or they're going to market themselves in less listings, I guess I should say. So this is a way that you can continue to sell something to your clients that's not listing dependent. Okay, so listings are down. If you only have a service that advertises a listing and it's listing dependent, then your business is going to be down. If you have a product that is not listing dependent and you have realtors who are looking to market their business, this is the this is the crosshair and the key for you. So we'll go into more of that. Nick is a wealth of knowledge. So Nick, it's exciting to have you on the podcast today. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, guys. You know, um, we've we've logged a lot of hours, uh, Craig, and then definitely Todd and I, we, we had a production mm-hmm. company. We shot stuff for years before WOW really took off. And, you know, and I went off in my own direction and then came back. Uh, you know, and I, and I, I would say I, I wasn't at the highest levels of Hollywood. Um, I went out to be a movie maker, made a bad movie and foundered around for years. And, you know, to be honest, I mean, if I if I had done what I'd hoped, I'd probably still be out there, although family and wanting to be back in the Midwest brought me back. And but where I did end up was in um, what what the industry we call docu, uh, what the rest of us call reality TV. And where that served us well in real estate content is I learned to interview a lot of people under pressure to get sound bites and tell stories and get messaging right that um, that kept shows on the air. And so you're only as good as your last show. So if you're if you have a bad season of L.A. Inc. or a bad season of Clean House, you don't get to work anymore. Hmm. And so, you know, I got really good at, at getting right to um what needed to be discussed in an interview. And I think that's what we've kind of monetized here uh, at WOW when we work with clients. And um, and I'm a writer, so I kind of write on my feet. Those are those are really the two things I bring. I'm 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 not great with the camera, as anyone on this podcast will attest. Um, I did go through WOW's uh, excellent, really excellent photographer training program, which is how to be a photographer and a a videographer. And I have the record for spending the longest time in a house (laughs) <laughs> to figure out how to shoot everything. So, um, but you know, it's 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 like it's like they say the uh, the cook in the Marines still has to go through rifleman training, and so I went through you know I went through Wild's version of that, and and what helped was I understand our product, I understand our workflow. Um, you know, we we used to do a narration 
that um, I probably did 150 of those. And we had a very, I, I would just follow the way we lay out a house. And then that turned into our ahas, which are the agent going through that process, which um, put me out of business for narrations, but opened the door for producing and going in other directions and, and systemizing stuff. And I think that's what we do at WOW so well. It's what you do very well, Todd, is you systemize processes. And it's, it's and, and as a business owner, if you're a real estate videographer or photographer, it, it's not just, I'm going to go out and do interviews today. And, and, you know, anybody on this podcast who's watching who has done an interview and, and it, and it goes on for 40 minutes and then you go back and you go, wow, that was great. And I have 40 minutes of rich content to go through and that's going to take me two days to cut. And how, how the heck do I have time for that? So I think what we've done at, at WOW is we've taken, you know, when I was in Los Angeles and, and I, I did two seasons of LA Inc. I could do a half hour, uh, just a name drop, but, you know, I could do a half hour uh, interview because there was an entire post team that would transcribe it and go through it and pull the great bites and then figure out a flow and then see how it matches with what we did in the studio. Um, you, you had an army basically in post. You don't have that if you're running your own business. Mm. You've got to be smart on how you capture your elements and you got to be smart on then how you 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 just distill. So we came up with workflow stuff, Todd. Um, we would take questions and stop and start camera on questions. Uh, even if we had nobody taking notes, at least we had, at least you could go back and know that this is going to be a soundbite and I don't have to find the next soundbite. I just, that, that runs out and I'm done with that set, that topic and that soundbite, there might be a couple takes in it, but it's always going to, and then if I don't have a notes taker, I can at least go back and just, and just, okay, this is, this is X, this is Y, this is Z. And then at, at least that helps the process of assembling a, a good bit of content. So that's the kind of stuff that we, we've done here. And, and, you know, now what we're doing, I think, is, is um, realtors want, realtors don't want to spend money. Anybody on this podcast who works in this industry knows that. They, they, they want to spend as little money as possible because they're their own business person. And um, it's coming out of their pocket. It's not some magical marketing budget. It's, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, uh, if they're going to get clothes for their kids this fall. So, that, so you're balancing you know, you're balancing the offering that you give them um, as what they're going to pay and what, and what you're going to do. But but producing takes time, getting a message out of someone, defining a message up front and then capturing it and then cutting it. So, you know, the question becomes, how do you how do you get good stuff um, in a way that doesn't destroy your, your time? And, and that's what we've done. We've got a, a brand blast that we developed, Todd and I, and uh, it's very systemized. Um, we get people in our studio here. Or I go out in the field with an Osmo because I'm a horrible operator, you know. But I throw up some lights and and um, and it's it's basically it's basically this, but you're being produced. You've got B-roll and you've got some music. Sometimes you've got some text graphics, and suddenly just this turns into a rich video. It's not molded mm -hmm. lighting. You're not three point lighting them. You're basically looking where the sun is and you know, and, and, and throwing up a key and potentially a backlight. We've, Todd makes fun of me that I've, I've, you know, doing okay with the lighting for a change. So Nick, for our, for our listeners out there, what, and then they're saying, okay, I know how to shoot media of a listing, but what are you saying, Todd, about non-listing content? What the heck is that, Nick? Uh, non-listing content can be, um, you know, realtors want to establish themselves on social media platforms, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Um, they want to, they want to be top of mind with their clients. So it could be them talking about, you know, how to prep your house for, um, for, for a showing or how to navigate financial stuff. Um, that's, that's them kind of pontificating or, or basically showing that they're an influencer or an expert. And that's how they keep their clients, you know, on, um, uh, get new clients, keep their old clients, get new clients. And that's, that's their pain point. They want to know how to stay relevant, especially in the off months that we're going into now and testimonials work, um, talking to people and then, and then talking about how great you are. That's never a bad thing. You can do campaigns. You can offer your realtors campaigns for, Hey, just line up seven people that love you and I'll come in and I'll shoot them in your lobby. That's a great thing you can do. You can introduce your entire team in a minute. I do this, I do this, I do this, I do that. Um, ultimately, you want to try to get something steady out of it. You want to give them a monthly video, ideally, you know, three or four videos a month. And that's how you make money because you go in and you shoot them all at one time. You challenge them to come up with topics and then you help them through the process of introducing themselves, presenting something scary. Are you worried about the market? Well, as a realtor, well, here's some things you can do to navigate that. 
and then you solve a problem. And, and ultimately, it always ends with a call to action. You always just say, and, if, and, and you just tell them, if you need to sell or buy your home, I'm the person for you. So you just kind of go introduce yourself, present a problem, solve a problem, and tell, and tell me how to get a hold of you. Okay, Nick, so you, you referred to um, challenging your realtor clients to coming up with, with content ideas, topics you know, to talk about. And a lot of times the, the, the realtors, they, they don't know exactly what to say or what, what topics to mm-hmm. cover, and you might not know either. So what, what's a good strategy to helping your realtor clients come up with specific topics that will provide good content for short form videos? Mm-hmm. You have to turn, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of psychology. You have to turn it back on the fact that, that every realtor, you know, has to go through that rigorous process uh, or agent or realtor where they learn all the ins and outs. They're, they're actually, they probably got 30 topics if they just go back to how they passed their, their realtor exam, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so it's, it's the first thing I do is I say, hey, give me the elevator pitch on why I should pick you as a realtor that you would give me if I ran into you at the grocery store or was on a bar stool or a coffee shop. And, and they get into that. And then, and then they'll start to say, you know, I really care about people or I'm really good at helping people through finances or I'm really good at navigating the lending process or I'm really good at getting a house staged. And then you just dig, oh, oh, tell me more about that. So what are some hints for staging a house? Okay, and, and what happened, you know, and then, and you got to get better. I mean, if you talk to realtors, you pretty much know that they, they can go down. The, the realtor who says they can't talk about anything, if you talk to them enough, they'll, they'll talk to you. It's like talking to me, you know, it, they'll talk to you for like 30 minutes on something, <laughs> take notes. And then, you know, what I'll, what I'll do is I'll challenge people that want to be a weekly client. I'll say, let's set up a calendar. Let's think about seasonal stuff, which could be, you know, back to school. Give me a topic all about dealing with back to school and how that and how you, the community, not even about real estate. And then the holidays come up. You know, you got Halloween, you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas. OK, that's four videos right there. New Year's, you got five, you know. Um, and then so that's not even. But those are videos that there's a that keep a realtor or agent top of mind and is basically just saying, I love my community. I love my people. Get a hold of me if you have questions about real estate. And then you can also go deep into the real estate stuff, which we've already talked about. So just to recap, so if you are thinking about this for your business, a great way to start is with a question going to your agents who don't know what to say. You know, give me the elevator pitch. What makes you different? Why should I use you as a realtor? And that will get them answering a question and get them talking. The next suggestions, and this is very genius, is now you're just kind of taking notes and they're going to say some things as to what makes them different. And then just ask them, say, okay, tell me a little bit more about how you're different with getting people pre-approved. Tell me a little bit more about why you really enjoy working with Army veterans, why you enjoy working with first time home buyers, why you enjoy working with people who are looking to downsize their home in the later part of their life. So we have those list of topics, Nick, and and in your experience, so is it easy to get a long list that we can build videos that can be sustaining for us across, you know, a year? It's it's easy to build a to build a long list of about seven or eight topics. <laughs> That's, mm-hmm. That comes easy. And then and then a calendar is like I'm working on a template right now. It's just kind of ubiquitous. It, it'll fit everybody. And we just know that there are half the year is stuff that's just stuff. It could be. You know, the, the, mm-hmm. uh, there could be a realtor, uh, a, a day of the year that's all about real estate, or it could be, it, you know, obviously holidays, starts of seasons, uh, listings are going back up now. This is typically the slow season, how to market yourself. You could probably get, a, well, maybe a third of your content. Everybody could, could do the same type of content with their own spin on it, and they'll all be different. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then you got to start to burrow down. Like your mom, Todd, is an amazing realtor. I've learned so much just from interviewing her. She mm-hmm. just, you know, she... She has a wellspring of like really smart stuff about a lender, a pre-approval and walking into a house and having your plan before you go and just, you know, and, and so um, if you find a great realtor, get all their information and then kind of recycle it and go back to your other realtors and say, you know, you could go in this direction and then they'll do some <laughs> research and find it. Yeah, that's awesome. One thing I also like to recommend is, is ask your clients anytime somebody asked them a question that they should write it down. Mm. Uh, Marcus Sheridan wrote a book called They Ask, You Answer. 
And I, I have that phrase in my head all the time. If somebody is asking you a question, someone else has that question and they're probably not going to ask it to you. You should even do this in your own real estate photography business. Realtors ask you questions. Why should I use drone? What's different about HDR photography? Why do you use flash photography? What's your turnaround time? You should be writing all those down and answering those on video and putting it out there to your, to your crowd. Mm -hmm. So I always like to suggest writing questions down. Go ahead, Nick. And the nice thing about that, that, yeah, is too, is that ultimately they'll give you a commercial. They'll talk, Mm -hmm. you know, like how do you best market listings and and they'll give you some ideas and then they'll go, but the most important thing is photos and video, or they wouldn't be talking to you as a photographer or videographer. So, um, and you have, so, so, so Nick, you're saying actually, because I was saying you as the business owner would answer it, but you're saying when you're actually in the interview with these clients of yours and they're talking about their business, that we should ask them about our business. You should, you know, you should ask bite? them about you should ask them about how they market a listing for their clients, mm. and they'll go, "Oh, well." In their mind, they're going, "I'm paying for the best vid- video and photography in my in my area." which is what every one of our, our viewers is. And so they'll go, oh, and they'll talk about, you know who I use, and they'll mention you by name. They'll talk mm. about your awesome <laughs> photography, your drone, your, your video. And then guess what? As a filmmaker, you have all the B-roll in the world. <laughs> you don't have to go to a stock service. <laughs> yeah. You just use your, your coverage. You know, So that one, invariably, every client, I've, any, any long-term client we've had will ultimately give us a throwback. When, and, and so, and then we have all the B-roll in the world. and. And that's the low hanging fruit one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. That's great. All right, Nick. So you, you mentioned a a template basically uh, approaching say a one minute video. What, what does that template or structure look like for an on-camera interview to produce a, say a one minute reel? Okay. So, you know, you want to keep it simple. Uh, Typically you'll make money as a realtor if you do these, you know, two or three of these at the same time. So you want to just, you, you want to just keep them on task. So first up, identify yourself you know, get the spelling and their title, but then say, okay, let's start from the beginning, introduce yourself and who you're with. And then um, that's beat one. Beat two is a question I get all the time uh, that I, you know, that I want to talk about is, and it could be, is this a good time to buy? Is this a good time to sell? How do I get my house ready for, um, for a walkthrough? How do I work with a lender? Um, You know, how, what's the best ways to market my home? Um, And then, so that's kind of B2 is you posit the question and then you transition out of B2 into answering the question. So, you know, if it's a yes or no, it's yes, yeah, a great time to buy a house because, you know, it's always a great time. And then you need for a one minute video, you need about two, you know, two uh, elaboration points. You want it. You want it something value rich. You know? So so tell me why it's a good a good time to 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 buy. Well, uh, though, interest rates are are high. Um, you can always buy the home and date the interest rate and then refinance later. Oh, okay. And, you know, and then the, a second one they could say is, you know, if you got to buy a house, you got to buy a house. But if you work with a smart realtor and a smart lender, you can find a way to protect yourself when interest rates do get to where they are. You know, I, if I talk about 20 more seconds, I pretty much got a one minute video there. So that's beat three. You answer the question and elaborate. Beat four, tell them what they're going to do. That's 101 in marketing. You're going to call me to help you with your buying and selling process. I'm, state the name, here's how you can reach me, my cell phone, my my uh, my, uh, my email address, and if they wanna say their tagline, even better. I'm the realtor that has wings, and you're out. Four steps. <laughs> simple, simple. Not simple when you're in it, but be prepped, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, and, I, and, and you've shot a lot of these, Nick, in this format, a, a lot of them, and you do, you do three of these and how long when, when we have realtors coming in and out, you're giving yourself 20, 30 minutes to do three of these videos? Uh, yeah, I can. I mean, I've done them. I typically, you know, be smart if I, I try to allow 15 minutes of video because they might want to talk through it. They might, you know, a lot of times a realtor will say, uh, I've been thinking about this, but I just need to know how to turn the lender thing into why it's a good time to buy now. And so we'll talk it through. And, you know, it's almost like you're, you're acting as like a sales advisor or a content or a speech, speech advisor for them. Um, so mm-hmm. allow 15 minutes per video. Once you're, once you're set up, you got your lights in place, do, you know, your standard lighting and, um, and, and then take those 15 minutes. We've, the worst I've ever done was 28 minutes to get a complex duo 
Um, I've done them as fast as three minutes where they just, you know, mm -hmm. but, but typically, yeah, they can fly. Uh, you got a good realtor. You're going to let, you're going to tend to go through that video in six to eight minutes. Awesome. So this is something you all can do out there. You could probably do it on site at a listing. If they don't have a listing, you can meet them at their office or meet them at a model home for a builder that also introduces you to a builder. But mm -hmm. what Nick said is, you know, 15 minute time blocks. Now I will tell you guys, he is a master at doing it, even though he won't take credit for it. So you might want to schedule yourself a little bit more time or do it with a realtor that you're comfortable with, but use that four part series. Uh, the first one is they say, hey, I'm Todd with Wild Video Tours. A question I get asked all the time. That's the second part. Just have them say that literally. A question I get asked all the time is now a good time to buy a home. The third part is have them answer that question. Make sure you give have them give a reason or two as to why they're saying that answer. And then the fourth beat is your call to action. I'd love to tell you more. Give me a call, Todd at Wild Video Tours. They can put their, have them say their phone number, their email, and then their a call to, or their uh, tagline. And that's your video. You do three of those. Those are three question answers. And that's a nice little upgrade for you, um, yeah. you know, in your day. And something that just occurred to me is, you know, because I don't shoot listings, but if I was out with a realtor and they were at the listing and they were introducing the listing, uh, you're there already. So, you know, if someone just mm -hmm. wants to do one video, that's the time to do it. What you don't want to do mm -hmm. is show up and just shoot one video and leave. But if you're shooting a listing and they're on prem, just say, hey, let's shoot a video about something. And then so that's a value add and you can make more money on each of those listings by adding a video every time the realtor comes out. That could work, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a fabulous idea, Nick. Yeah. If so, I could shoot houses, I'd do it, but I, I suck at it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so just a, a great, a great, you know, in summary, uh, I, I know we, we've talked content, but Todd, like you framed it at the beginning of the podcast, um, this really lends itself to continuing your business and strengthening your business and giving you another product and another service when the market is down, mm -hmm. when inventory is down. You don't want to just have a product or service that is listing dependent. You want to uh, broaden things up in, in the value that you add to the realtors that you serve. You are part of their marketing team. You are not just a, a listing photographer. Mm -hmm. You're not just a listing videographer. You are a marketing consultant dedicated to helping mm -hmm. them grow their business. So if this is you know a content idea, content video is something more that you can bring to the table to help them grow their business and you just you cement yourselves into in into their team and part of their business and uh they're they're less likely to stray and they're less likely to uh, not use you as often mm -hmm. Very much so. yeah yeah just just talk to them and just say hey what do you want to say try to get them in, try to get them prepped in advance and then mm -hmm. um if you give if you talk to them a little bit you'll get a lot out of it and it, you talk in advance you'll get something great on the day in front of the camera yeah. Well, Nick, thank you so much for your wealth of information. Guys, this is a career worth of knowledge here. So there is a lot of gold in here. And I can't say how much I've learned. I've been on a lot of sets with Nick. And I can't tell you how much I've learned with just something as simple as like a tip he gave is have them say and spell their name and the company they're with and do it on camera. Mm -hmm. uh, just things like that. Uh, also, the other thing, and, and he didn't mention this because I just get it with being with him on set. Don't be afraid to stop your client when something is not correct. Not not technically correct, but if they're saying something incorrect or they're not using a full sentence, stop them. Don't let them carry on. Just stop them. You're the expert and you mm -hmm. need to take control during this interview. And that is the one big thing I learned from Nick is it's in your best interest to take control. And you might be like, oh, I don't want to stop them because they're talking. No, stop them because they don't want to sound dumb when the video mm -hmm. comes out because then they're never going to use the video and they're never going to hire you again. Mm. So lots of great information in there. Nick, how can how could somebody get a hold of you and then plug your movie? You shot it. You said you shot a bad movie, but you shot a good movie, too. And people can watch it online. Where can they see your movie? Where, where can they find out more about you? Because you're a fascinating individual. Oh, yeah. Skip the bad movie. I made it in the 90s. But um, the good movie um, <laughs> is called uh, A Walk with Grace. It's a, it's a Hallmark, kind of a Hallmark style family with faith film uh, about our hometown here in, in Lima, Ohio. And it was just, 
you know, I made the shift from from the insanity of, uh, of Hollywood back to back to here. And so it's not autobiographical, but it is a feel good movie about a guy who comes to his hometown. It's all it's fiction, but um, it's an Easter um, a Good Friday movie. And but it's also just, you know, it's 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 how a town will raise you. It's, you know, dudes, dudes covering each other, dudes calling each other out. Um, it just, you know, it's, it's where I'm from. It's the heartland. So if, if it's a family thing, it's a walk with grace. You can, you can, you know, buy it, which we'd love you to off of uh, t- tons of platforms, Amazon prime, but you can see it for free on Amazon freebie and a walk with grace. And you can see where Todd and I live. I mean, this is, this is our hometown and it's pretty much showcased in that. Awesome. Thank you. And how could someone get a yeah. hold of you if they had a question for you, Nick? Yeah. Cause we are going to, uh, we've talked about doing content where in this format, I could interview uh, clients. So if, if you don't feel like you're a solid interviewer just yet, um, we could use the format that we're using here to do this Spiro podcast. And uh, you can hire me to come in and I can do three videos in an hour. And uh, that's what we're unveiling. And I could, I could help walk your clients through this process, um, you know, and, and uh, so if you want to reach me, best way is uh, Nick Kellis at wildvideotours.com. Nick Kellis at wildvideotours.com. Drop me an email and we can discuss how we could uh, help your, you know, uh, your, your content, uh, help make content another offering uh, and make you, you know, make you more money and, and, and retain your clients, especially as we go into the downtime where they're worried about retaining their clients and you're just serving them and enhancing their brand. There you go. Our guest, Nick Kellis. Nick, again, thank you so much for joining us. It's always fun to talk with you, man. Likewise, guys. Yes. Uh, some good yes. times, some great times. Love working with you. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, again, if you have a question for the Spiro podcast related to the business side of what we do in real estate photography and videography, drop us an email. It's just hello at Spiro.media. If you want to find out more about the software, you can check out the website as well. And um, yeah, we would love to hear from you. If you have content ideas that you want to share, how you do content type videos uh, with your clients, leave us a comment on the YouTube channel. Again, you can Mm -hmm. email us and and share those ideas. We'd love to get a conversation going again and just help each other uh, build really good marketing platforms for our realtor clients to serve them well. So Todd, any closing thoughts from you before we, uh, we, we shut things down this week? Yeah, you guys are all busy out there, but we wanted to come to you today with this idea of something that you could work on your business and not just in your business. So this is an idea that can bring you more revenue uh, that is not, again, that's not listing dependent. And I think that's the most important thing that you um, assess uh, especially when listings are down. So mm-hmm. um, consider it, begin doing it, practice like Nick said, practice on your wife, practice on your friends. And once you do it, uh, it actually is pretty fun. So we hope this yeah. is helpful today. Well, there you go. You guys have a great week. Thank you so much for joining us again on the Spiro podcast. Uh, be sure to share this with others. You, a, a lot of listeners are in the Facebook groups. If you find this this content valuable, please, we we. We'd love to help others in our industry uh, just with ideas like this. So, you know, feel free to share the podcast and, and the website with others in the uh, the online online groups. All right. Be thankful for the blessings you've been given. Make sure you take a breath this week and have a great week. Take care. Thank you for joining us for the Spiro podcast, managing your real estate photography and videography business. This is a production of Spiro and Wow Video Tours. You can find out more about Spiro's real estate media business management software at our website, spiro.media.